Good morning, Eagle Nick audience. I am Eagle Nick, and I'm back over here at the Dinner Lake. You can see there's some of the Canadian geese swimming around on the lake there. It's about nine of them, five in the front. There's a red-winged blackbird. Let's see if I can't zoom it in. See him? That is a red-winged blackbird. It must be a female. It don't have a lot of red in its feathers. The males generally have more red, and the females has more of a yellow color. You see, it's trying to get there, down there to try to get some water. But I wanted to show something over here. Now, this used to be three separate lakes before they made it into one big old giant mud hole this concrete part was already here there was a smaller pond here a bigger pond in the middle and another small pond on the other end the water can't comes through here this comes from a spring and right over there is there's a big old concrete thing where the water actually comes through but the reason i come back to do another video over here is this right here used to be crystal clear i mean we used to come over as kids and right there at that end by the wall could actually drink the water where it would come in but ever since they'd made this into a big giant mud hole you see how bad that moss is on it, and it's all the way around the lake. <coughs> they have not did anything to control the growth of the stuff. They do not stock the lake to try to make the lake to where it is fishable. They are still people that comes over here, mainly, I would say, just to kill time. Now, there are some cattails floating right there that somebody had to have cut down because they do not come down naturally. There's a bunch of geese out on the lake out there. You see them? But this is the Dennard Lake off Conway Street in Dalton, Georgia. Now the city of Dalton and Whitfield County has spent millions upon millions of dollars creating parks. The park over there resurfacing the track, resurfacing the soccer field, building new soccer fields, maintaining baseball fields, stuff that is just for certain people, the more well-to-do, something like this, and over there, Al Rollins Park, where everybody can enjoy and will last for generations to come. That has not had to be redid every single year. They could restock these lakes, do something about all the moss, build back the shed they tore down over here. There was a shed right there and had picnic tables up and under it where people could sit up and under the shed and stay out of the sun. But they chose to tear that shed down and then did not rebuild a shed. They even used to be a, a grill over here. Uh, one of them like over at Al Rollins Park, a little grill where people could come over here and grill. But they took it up. They actually had power over here where this shed was. We have a Dalton City Police Department officer going by. But there was power on this shed right here, where this shed was on this concrete pad. And they tore it down. There used to be a place right here where you could see where the power was. 
but there is no power over here now except for the lights you know they built lights got lights going all the way around the lake that is lit up at night And back when I was a kid, this was a great place to fish. There was many big old bass, catfish, carp, crappy, bluegill. Different species of fish. But you can see that, see the moss, how bad it is. I mean, and it is all the way around the lake. The bottom is covered with a different type of vegetation that if you fish with a sinker, you throw out there, you'll end up dragging back through a bunch of stuff and getting it on your hook. You will catch moss or some other form of trash 99% of the time before a fish could ever have a chance to bite it. Now, utilizing some of that money that they take into taxes that they give to the Dalton Parks and Recreation Department to maintain these ball fields, soccer fields, and these parks. How about them using some of that money to restock these lakes to put fish in here for everybody to enjoy? Not just a select few. Eagle Nick Audits, I am Eagle Nick, and I'm out.